Hi guys! So today I am going to do a Q&A video. Um, you guys ask a lot, a lot of questions, which is super duper fun, and I'll try to answer them all. Um, so yeah, let's get started. There's not going to be any categories for like beauty, photography, blah blah. You're just going to have to look through the whole video to find what you're looking for. Um, so how are you so tanned and how are you able to maintain the color? Um, how I'm so tanned, I do work a lot in the sun, um, but I think it's just my jeans. I don't do anything special. I don't use fake tan, no oil when I tan. I just use sunscreen and I don't really like to lie in tan either. I think it's super duper boring. So I'm not a big tanner to be honest. Not when I'm like on vacation at least. Like here in Sweden it's not that hot so then I could lay out and read a book for a while. But when I'm in like Europe or Bali or something I just get too hot and I just kind of don't like lying in the sun for too long. Do you color your hair or is it your natural color? I don't color my hair anymore. I did before. I've had like every single color you can imagine. I've had pink, I've had red, I've had black, I've had like the ombre. Um, but now I think it was like last year after I came home from the Caribbean, we just kind of did some highlights, kind of like um, got, got rid of the yellow parts. And yeah, since then it's just been my natural, which is so nice. Like now I can just let it grow um, without having to worry about like the outgrowth. Um, and of course, it's if I would have been in Sweden for like a whole winter, it would have looked darker than this because it wouldn't get that much sunlight. But since I am in the sun quite a bit, it does get lighter, of course. Uh, what is your favorite perfume or makeup product? Even you probably don't use a lot of makeup. Love you. Ooh, love you too. I don't use any makeup. Never. Actually, I only use lipstick. And by now, you guys should know what I use. It's the Bobbi Brown shade 4. Um, but no other makeup at all. I don't use highlighter, not bronzer, not concealer. I don't use any. Um, my favorite perfume since like I was, I can't even remember, I've used a Victoria's Secret Body Splash that smells like coconut and vanilla and I haven't stopped yet. Hmm? How many tattoos do you have and can you show them? I have six tattoos. Um, I don't know if I can show them in this video because I can't really pull up my play suit because it's on my rib cage. But I have um, one on my arm here, it says California. I did that when I was like 16. Um, I have my son here, which I have with four of my other girlfriends. I have Wild Child back here. I have a heart, which is the most recent one that I did, that I did with my boyfriend, so he has to sing. And then I have my bikini, and then I have a wave here. And on my ankle, I have a tattoo that says to the sea. So six tattoos in total. Maybe I can try to do like a blog post and show you guys some. Um, what camera do you use for your photos? Um, I use a really simple camera house at the moment that I bought last year before I actually got into what I'm doing right now. So it's not even worth mentioning. It's a Canon. Um, I do use two lenses, a 50mm and a 24-70mm one. I'm actually like in the works of buying a new camera house at the moment. So when I do, I'll tell you guys more about it. How did social media become your job? Well, I'm just, I've been very passionate about it since I started. And it's been like, I don't really know how it became my job, to be honest. Um, but it did. Um, and it's amazing. I think, it's, I think it became my job because I've been so passionate about it and I've like been putting in like 120% into everything I've been doing. Um, do you get scared about traveling at the age you are? No, I don't. I mean, especially because I usually, like last year I traveled alone to Greece to meet a friend, to meet a girl I met on Instagram there. And of course it's a bit scary when you're traveling alone, but it's not like, no, it's not that, honestly for me it's not that scary, it's exciting. Um, and of course, like if you're traveling alone, be smart about it. Don't go into like dangerous areas or like walk alone at night. Um, but I don't do that in my like in my home country either. But it's not scary. And like with everything going on in the world, you shouldn't be scared to travel. Definitely not. How did you grow your Instagram and blog? Honestly, I do not have a good answer for this one. It's just been very organic for me. Um, I just started growing and I started noticing more that people like my photos, etc. Um, so it's just been like 
very organic. I don't have like a secret tip for how to grow your followers or I don't have a secret tip for what photos to post because it's so different. Like sometimes I post a photo that I absolutely adore, like I love it so much and then it doesn't get the response that I would want it to get. But then sometimes I post a photo that I don't like 100% love or maybe just like 90% love and that's a photo that you guys absolutely love. So it's very different. It's not like, I don't think there's a black and white answer. Tips on how to succeed on social media and what got you started. Like I said before, I actually don't have a tip on how to succeed in social media except the most like obvious one for me which is to be yourself don't copy other there's such a big difference on being inspired by others and copying others and being inspired is amazing like being able to inspire someone is absolutely incredible and being inspired by someone is amazing as well so i mean i get inspiration from a lot of things but i would never straight out like copy someone like copy a photo or copy a style like right off it so you can actually see that it's copied because then you kind of lose your own touch to it so i think that's like one way to definitely succeed in social media don't copy others but be inspired by others and put your own flair to it like put your own touch to it um yeah so that's like my main thing and of course like good photos like good quality photos like not blurry really dark ones where you can't see what it is um and doing like really letting your work shine through the photos like and what got you started with social media well i think i told this story before but the thing is last year me and my boyfriend we were in caribbean january till april i think and um and then we just started like i've always had a passion for photography and fashion and styling and everything so then we just started posting some photos for fun and then i started noticing that i got more followers um, and when I came home in April, I had a few followers. I had like 3,000, I think, last year. Um, and I just kind of felt like this is what I want to do. This is what I need to do. Um, and I just started doing it. Like I started posting more. I started doing, posting more fashion, um, not just bikinis. Because when I started, it was just a lot of bikinis. And I was really worried that my followers wouldn't like my style. But it turns out people did love it. So that was really good for me and that gave me a kick in the butt. Um, so then I just kind of, it just kind of started. Um, and I just started posting more and more. Um, and yeah, it's just been very like, I'm so glad I started. <laughs> um, how did you get in contact with um, international brands? Is it through your model agency? No, um, since day one I've just like, I just got in contact with um, international brands. I think people just have found me and I've, I've gotten, in contact, like I've gotten in contact with them. A bad answer, I know, I'm sorry. Um, but it's just kind of been like, since day one I worked with a lot of Australian brands and some like American ones. I think it's just kind of like what my photos attract. And obviously they've been attracting international companies. What do you usually think about when you edit your photos? When I edit my photos, I just think about keeping it as close to the natural photo as possible but of course if it's like a really really yellow wall and I don't like the yellow I would kind of tone it down a little bit maybe desaturate it a little bit um, but I just kind of think about keeping it as natural keeping it bright and like having a really natural feel to it um, I don't like when it's too like too much contrast in it and when it's like the color is like too bright when it's like the saturation is like Sorry, it's like on top. Um, so just trying to keep it like a natural feeling to it. Where are you going next? So next I am going to California, like I said before, with my family and my brother's girlfriend and my, my, my love, my Rasmus. Um, he's blushing. Uh, after that, I, I'm hoping that like I'm really excited and I'm really looking forward to just like a Swedish summer because last year I was traveling around a bit in Europe and the year before I worked a lot when I was work when I wasn't working with this so I'm just trying to like I want to be home a bit and be like on my countryside and like my summer houses but then again I know how I am and I know that I'm very spontaneous so if I want to book a trip I'm probably going to right now um, I'm going to Italy in July and then nothing is fully booked yet after that so then we'll see what happens. 
Um, dream destination. Dream destination for me is Maldives, Cuba. Um, I want to go to the Coconut Islands. My dad was there when he was like a long time ago. It sounds fun. I mean, Coconut Islands. I don't know if it's called that in English, but it's called like Coco Island. I don't know. It sounds fun. And uh, like the Bahamas I want to go to because when we were in the Caribbean, we never got around to going there. Um, that's like the things that I can come up of, like come, like think of on the top of my head. I would like to know how you apply Redken Wind Blown, and if you had to choose three perfumes, what which would it be? So how I apply the Redken Wind Blown is just I just spray it like everywhere. Like, honestly, I just spray it in my whole hair. Um, three perfumes. Honestly, I'm so bad at perfumes. I'm sorry, I don't have a good answer. I don't know any perfumes. Hi, I think you are so inspiring and you seem like such a happy and kind person. Have you always been like that? And how do you usually think? Um, and what do you usually think to stay as positive as you are? Thank you so much, first of all. Um, I haven't always been as, like, as, what, would I, what could I say, like, of course, I've always been kind, but I always I haven't always been as like at peace with myself, and I think because I am at peace with myself, it shines through, and that's like how I'm that positive, like how I'm so positive. It's because I'm like I'm at peace with myself. I love myself. I love what I do. I love how I love how I feel, and I think that just shines through. And I just try to stay positive all the time because being negative, like of course, sometimes I'm negative about something if something messes up, and like. I'm really stressed, of course, like I'm only a human, but overall I try to stay positive because everything, at the end of the day, everything will sort itself out. That's just how life is, like you hit bumps, you go through rough things, but at the end of the day, everything will end up good and end up in the way you want it to end up. So I just think like when you're at peace with yourself and when you love yourself and when you love what you're doing, you're gonna be a generally happier person. Um, favorite boutiques. My favorite boutiques. Oh, I'm so bad. Honestly, I'm such a Sarah, Zara person. Like, if I go into the store, I will always find something I like. I think you guys know what I mean. And other stories is also a store that I really like. Um, this is like the physical stores that I'm talking about, like the ones you can go into. Do you have plans on studying? Nope. Why should I study when I already work with what I love? Favorite food? I love lasagna. I don't know why. I just love it. I love... Um, I love lasagna. I do. It's the only thing I can't think about right now. Lasagna. <laughs> what are some tips for dressing for shorter girls? Don't care what the trends. Like, if it's something really long, bite anyways. Damn it. Like... Don't care, like, if you're short, of course, some things are gonna look worse. Like, I never wear low-waist jeans, because I just feel like they make my legs shorter. Um, so I always wear just, like, high-waist jeans. Um, but other than that, I I just wear whatever I want. Like, I wear a max dress, I wear a midi dress, I wear a short dress. Um, that's, like, the only tip I can recommend. Like, I like wearing high-waisted pants, because it feels like it makes you look a bit taller. But the thing is... I don't wear the high waist pants because I think it makes me look taller. I just wear it because I'm more comfortable in it. How do you get that 70s retro blowout hair? Oh, I don't know. I don't I don't do anything to my hair either. Today I'm having like a really bad hair day. Um, but I don't do anything. And that's why I have bad hair days too. Because I don't do anything. Um, but I did before. I had this like... My mom has it. It's really good. It's like one of those round brushes but it's heat inside so you can like blow it out it's like a blowout but you do it yourself super good is it your boyfriend who takes most of your pictures yes he takes all of my photos do you guide him to get the photos you want or is the cre or is he the creative head behind so me and my boyfriend work as a team um, and when you work as a team you respect each other's opinions like I'm very creative and I love um, the styling of the shoot, like the producing, kind of like where do I want it, what kind of feel do I want to it, but then he has a vision, of course, himself, but I think it's just like we kind of do it 50-50, like I have an idea and then we go from there and then he shoots his own ideas as well and then sometimes his ideas are better, sometimes mine are better, but I think we're both creative, but I would definitely say that um, he's not the creative behind the photos, we both are. In the beginning, like when we started, I would say like, oh, I wanted like this and this, but then nowadays, like 
we don't need to do so anymore. Like now he knows what I like, he knows what he likes. We have kind of the same style, like we kind of like the same photos. Um, but then he has his own take on it and I do my own take on it. And then it just kind of goes into like a really good combination. How can you afford to travel so much? Well, I work more than full time. Like I work my butt off every single day and I save money. I don't spend a lot of money. Um, so that's how I afford, that's how I've always afforded to travel, that I've always worked a lot since I was a very young age, and I've always saved my money, um, and I don't spend that much. Who do you travel with? Um, well, I travel with different people. Honestly, mostly nowadays it's my boyfriend, Rasmus, aka Afraid of Photos. Um, but sometimes my friends, I love traveling with my family, with my mom. Next week we're going to California, and that's going to be like a whole family trip. So that's going to be really fun. Why don't you use makeup? I don't know, I don't feel comfortable in it. I feel more comfortable being natural. I did use makeup before when I was younger, like not that much, like not foundation and everything, but a little like bronzer and sometimes when I went out and partied, eyeshadow and mascara. But nowadays I just think I don't feel the need to use makeup. I think I love being able to just wake up in the morning and just put my clothes on and then go out of the door. And honestly, I don't know how to use makeup. Like, I'm not good at it at all. I'm actually really, really bad at it. Mm. My skincare regime. Well, since I don't use makeup, I've been very bad at cleaning and washing my face every single day. Um, which is still, I mean, like, I still need to do it because it's still good to get off that excess, like, oil and dirt from your face after a long day. Um, so... I don't do anything in the mo mo like in the morning. I sometimes put lotion on my face just in the morning to get it a little moisturized. In the evening, I do try to clean my face. Right now, I'm just using like my mom's cleaning foam because <laughs> I haven't really I haven't been bothered to buy my own. And then I just put lotion on my face, and then I'm good to go. I don't really have anything else that I do to my face. So I get <clears throat> the most common question I get is how I edit my photos. And as much as I would like want to show you guys hands on, like every single step on how I edit, I wouldn't be able to do that because even though I do edit most of my photos like the same way, it's always different. And like I have my own preset, um, so it kind of would be impossible for you guys to like copy um, the feeling anyways. But like I said, um, I just work a lot with just the colors, like I don't do retouching. I don't make myself look softer, I don't pull anything in or pull anything out. Um, I just work with colors in Lightroom and I work with like contrast, exposure, um, shadows and like the blackness in a photo and sometimes the whites in the photo as well. But other than that, I don't really do anything. So I would just like recommend you guys to, if you really want to like edit your photos um, and, like, and work around with colors. like. Um, buy Lightroom on the computer, work around, like, play around with it, that's how I learned, um, by just, like, playing around, like, working with the different colors, okay, so where's the green in the photo, what is this to, if I, like, they saturate it, if I make it lighter, um, kind of just like that, and, yeah, it's the same thing, like, when I edit a photo fast in my phone, I go on the VC, VSCO cam, and I use the A6 filter or the G3, and then I apply that. I don't always apply it like 100%, so maybe just like 3.3 or something. And then I work a, a little bit with the exposure. Maybe I tone down the contrast. I put a little grain on it, and then I'm basically done. What did you do when you finished school in your sabbatical? Did you go traveling working? So I finished school in June, two years ago, I think. And then that summer, I worked a lot. Um, and then that fall I worked a lot, that winter I worked a lot, and I did this so I would be able to travel. Um, so then in January 2016, I think it would be, um, I went to the Caribbean in January to, a to April. So that's kind of like, that was kind of my sabbatical year, like, I worked a lot for the summer and the fall and winter and then I left in January. So I left like half of the winter. What do you ask for when you get your hair cut? Do you ask for bangs or layers? Um, when I get my hair cut, I just say, please cut off like the dry ends, like the split ends, just cut it off. And then I just say, I, like when it comes to my bangs, I just say kind of like, I wanted this short and kind of just like, I don't know. 
I just explain what I want. Like, I don't want any split ends anymore, so please cut that, and I want my bang too. I want my bang to be a little shorter because before I had like a long bang and then it would just kind of like hang down. So then I said I want it a bit shorter so it will get a nice fall instead. Can you show your five favorite items in your closet? That I can do in another video. That's a good idea for a YouTube video. <laughs> what is your hair color and how do you ask for it at the salon because I love your hair? I mean, it really depends on what hair color you have from the beginning. Like, nowadays when I go to my um, my hairdresser, I just say, if I want it colder, like now I like my color, but let's say I've been in the sun for like half a year and I feel like it's yellow, I would just say, can you just make it a little bit colder? And then she would put, put in like a toner, like a cold toner. That's all I asked for. But before, when I had like an ombre and I wanted to go lighter, we would have to do highlights. Um, and then that's kind of what we did. And then it, it just like... Eventually, my hair became my natural color and my roots blended in with my aunts and all of that. <clears throat> Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, in five years, I really hope that I will still be working with what I love. Um, I see myself... I'll be 25. Um, I'll see myself living with Rasmus, of course. Maybe engaged. Hmm. Um, uh, I don't know really I'll just see myself in a warm country doing what I love with the person I love which is Rasmus um, best childhood memory oh that's a hard one like it's a really hard one I have so many nice memories with like my friends like where we grew up and like um, we were so many people in the same age where I grew up, we would always play like a childhood memory like um, by our summer house and even like in California would be a childhood memory for me. Like when I first moved there I didn't really, I couldn't speak English and it was really hard, like I didn't have any friends. So my mom, I would always call the principal, like I would always tell my teacher like, oh I'm not feeling well, like my stomach hurts. So my mom would always get a call from the principal office like, oh your daughter Matilda is sick again, like she's not feeling well. So mom would pick me up and we would go um, to a cafe in Carmel, which was like a 20 minute drive from where we lived maybe. And we'd get a car, like a lemon slice. That's a really good memory for me. Um, do you look at scum? Yes, we have looked at scum. This season we haven't really. I think I've seen like three episodes. Um, where do you get your inspiration from? I get my inspiration from photographers, Instagram, uh, magazines but mainly I get my inspiration from like old photography like old kind of like old style fashion um, that's where I get most inspired what is the next destination you'd like to visit definitely Cuba um, what would you study if you had to go to uni um, I think I would study something with like PR like um, like marketing or events or like something like that I really like being hands-on with stuff like and I really like the creative things um, maybe I would study like some kind of style thing, um, yeah. Um, and then I've got a lot of questions on how I work out. Um, thank you so much for complimenting my body. I need it nowadays. Um, so how I work out, I usually work out, like I mix cardio with like weight training. I really like circuit training when it's like, Maybe it's like five stations and you like mix cardio and weight training and it's like a 20 minute workout. I really like when it's like intense and short, but sometimes I also just go to the gym and do like on the cross trainer for like 20 minutes or maybe I just go and run for 20 minutes. And then sometimes I'm in the gym like doing weightlifting and then sometimes I'm on like a circuit training. It's, it all really depends on what my mood is. Um, like. Nowadays, I have to be honest with you guys, I've kind of been slacking, I haven't been slacking, but I've had a hard time finding a place in my life for working out as much as I, I'd like to, but I think that's life as well, like you have to, like I always say this to you guys, it's all about balance, if you can't fit your workout into your everyday life, like if I can't do that at this month, I'm not going to stress about it and feel bad that I'm not working out as much as I want to because then maybe next month I'll it'll be a priority like it'll, I, it'll be a priority for me um I just think it's about like being realistic as well and like 
every workout is better than no workout. Like even if I would just like last week, I had a headache and me and my boyfriend went out into the park where I live, um, close to where I live and we just did like body weight workout, like really easy for like 20 minutes. And even if I didn't get really sweaty and I was like really tired, I still felt like, oh, well today I moved my body and it's been a good workout. And it's like the same thing. I went for a run one day and I, it was just not like, it was just not my day. I had a headache and I was, no, I didn't have a headache, but I was like, I was really, really tired. But then I went out and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go for a run. And I ran for maybe like 15 minutes. And then I was just like, and then my stomach started hurting really, really bad because I had stomach problems. And then I had to give up and it wasn't giving up for me because I was still like, okay, well, I did run for 15, 20 minutes, which is really good it's better than nothing. So you kind of just have to remember to like applaud yourself when you're doing a workout. Even if it's a 10 minute workout, it's better than no workout. And if you one day feel like, oh, I really don't want to work out today, don't beat yourself up about it. It's not, nothing's gonna happen. You're not gonna get fat or anything. It's life, hey? Like you have to be realistic and you have to have balance. So that's kind of like, I work out nowadays, like maybe, maybe like three times a week right now um and of course like i said i wanted to be more um because i love working out it makes me happy and it makes me feel more confident but i haven't really been able to fit it in my schedule but yeah i'm gonna work on that and what do i eat honestly i eat whatever i want um i'm like that as well like of course it's always good to be really healthy because your body, it's good for your body, but it's also for me, like, um, if I restrict myself too much with food, I kind of fall into, like, a bad, in, I kind of fall into bad thoughts and a bad habit. Um, I did have a problem with food earlier, um, an eating disorder for, like, a couple of, I can't remember when it was, I think it was, like, when I was in eighth grade. Um, so... For my own sake, I try not to be too restrictive nowadays because I don't want to fall into that pattern again. Because um, it's so easy to fall into that pattern, you know, when you see stuff on Instagram and you see you read articles like don't eat chocolate, don't eat wheat, don't eat dairy. Um, I think it's just like eat whatever you want as long as you feel good about it and as long as your body feels good and as long as it works for you. So yeah, I don't really have like a diet that I follow or like a workout routine that I follow. I kind of just do what I feel like and what makes me happy, um, which is I think is, I think that's really, really important. How do you go from being treated poorly in school to eat, like still being strong enough to do your own thing? Um, at the end of the day, there will always be haters. There will always be people who say no, people who don't like what you're doing. Um, and especially like in a small town or probably like wherever you live, if you stick up, like if you stick out too much, someone's gonna get annoyed. Um, but I've always been like, who the f cares? Like if I wanna do what I love, I'm gonna do it. If it bothers someone, then fine. Like maybe not everyone loves what I'm doing because people, maybe some people can't understand it. Maybe some people are jealous. Um, some people hate on it. But at the end of the day, I'm happy and I'm loving what I'm doing, and that's the most important thing. You should never let other people's opinion cloud your own, like cloud your own judgments and cloud your own thoughts on like what you wanna do and what you wanna succeed in. So I kinda just went from like, of course you have to be really like, you have to be sure of yourself and you have to be confident to dare to do stuff and you have to believe in yourself 100% because if you don't you're not going to succeed that's my that's my personal opinion like if i would have been if i wouldn't have been confident in myself i wouldn't have been able to post photos um where my tum where my tummy has rolls on it i wouldn't be able to post photos of myself in bikinis or even in clothes but since i am confident in myself i can do all of these things and i think that's the main thing like you'll always have yourself in life so just try to nurture yourself with love and with positive things even if people around you are negative and then you'll always succeed um so guys i am super glad you asked so many questions and thank you for all of the love you guys gave me in the comments it means so much to me you guys know that already um and i'm just very very I'm just very happy that you guys follow me and that you guys 
are so positive and you guys had so many questions and I really hope you felt like I answered them all and if I didn't and if you have like a question that you really need an answer on just comment below and I'll do my best at answering it um thank you see you soon